A new report from the World Economic Forum concentrates on internet broadband availability, which some say is one of the biggest economic and social musts in the current era. Irene Mia is a senior economist from the World Economic Forum. She joins us now uh, live out of Geneva. Irene, welcome uh, to the program. I, I read through the report with great interest. Um, tell me, what, what are the key findings in your own words? Hi, Luisa. Well, the report is here. It's actually our seventh edition, so we are very excited. Uh, Nordic countries are again featuring very well in the ranking. We have Denmark and Sweden, number one and number two, respectively, for the second year in a row. Uh, the U.S. is uh, is climbing three position to position number four this year. And then we have other three Nordic countries in the top ten. Uh, again, Nordic countries do extremely well in, our, in all our rankings due to their extremely good uh, education system, their focus on innovation, their very ICT-friendly regulatory environment and market environment, and a focus by the government on the importance of ICT penetration for overall competitiveness. A big surprise is here, well, not really a surprise, but a big jump was Korea, which is actually um, featuring for the first time in the top 10, number 9, uh, 10 position up from last year. This is confirming the excellence of this country in, uh, in, uh, in iTech, as well as uh, innovation and uh, education. Um, does this, in terms of the competitiveness, doesn't it also have to do with how, how big the country is too? I mean, it's surely easier to, to make sure that you're connected in a country such as, as Denmark as opposed to the U.S., say. Well, for sure, for sure. In terms of, uh, of uh, ICT penetration rates and also in terms of, uh, you know, implementation of the government agenda, uh, if any, it's true that, you know, being, being small is, a, is an advantage. But at the same time, I think being big is also uh, carrying some advantages, like in terms of, you know, internal market for, uh, for uh, domestic producers. So it's kind of, uh, you know, it's advantages in both situations. Um in terms of, of the, uh, the actual technology, is it changing as rapidly as uh, what we're led to believe or are we still quite behind with uh, the, the links to WiMAX, for an example? Well, our report is actually assessing more than ICT penetration uh, rates and uh, ICT uh, penetration in general. It's really what we want to assess. It's really more the capacity of country to leverage ICT and innovation in general for increased competitiveness. So, of course, we have uh, a some of the variables which are looking at, you know, uh, ICT penetration, but uh, some of the variables are also looking at the, at the, the environment for ICT, at the, at the quality of the education system, at the, um, uh, at the government agenda and focus on ICT. Uh, to, to, to reply to your question, some countries are and some, ca some countries are not in terms of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, ICT, ICT really um, readiness. Uh, Irene, uh, just back to the, the geographies, how does emerging markets how do emerging markets line up in this well, as I said, we have a number of Asian countries which features uh, year after year in the top 10, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, economy like Taiwan and Korea this year. Um, BRICS country, we have uh, um, China and India this year ranked 57 and 50. But, you know, as, as, as you know, this is like, uh, it really is a global uh, ranking in terms of country, so it's kind of uh, hiding the, the, the cluster of excellence both in, uh, in India and China, and it's actually putting the focus on the fact that, uh, in general, you know, uh, war, uh, I mean, country-wise, there is Irene. a problem in infrastructure, and also, Irene, yes. th thank you very much. We're just yes. about to lose your birds, so we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you, Irene Mia, senior economist for the World Economic Forum. That means satellite in, in TV language. Uh, we'll be back with much more. Okay, stay with us.